What's up YouTube? This, if you don't know already, this is Liano with Tano Sabres and I've got another demo video today for this saber that I kind of recently finished up. Um, the saber's been a long, uh, long time in the making, but this was uh, weathered by my good friend Nick over um, at the Saber Temple, as he is known on Instagram. And um, we've kind of been collabing on a couple different sabers. I've done, um, what is it, three other ones up until now? Um, so this would be number four, um, super cool hilt. Um, I like the, the overall design when I, um, kind of first saw this just on the internet and browsing, but, um, this weathering makes it look really cool. It's a little bit more of a streamlined look. I think before some of these parts were blue and everything, which, um, I didn't really like, but, um, as you can see, he did some aluminum black weathering throughout he retained some of the kind of brass ish color here but weathered it um so overall super cool i really like how this has uh turned out and then the only thing i added to the outside was this etch which is kind of captain rex's um helmet symbol and um the fulcrum symbol because this kind of looks like ahsoka's head or you know her um I don't even want to call them horns, but tails, whatever you want to call them. Um, so we kind of kept that theme going. And then I added this D-ring down here. Um, this is actually, I think, technically a, a DV6 D-ring from Wana Wonga, if, I, if I'm correct. I had it as a spare part, so I slapped that on there. And then he, uh, Saber Temple also made this, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, blade plug. And I actually really like it. I'll, you know, show it off lit up, but... Um, it's got some really good shine through. It looks really good. Matches the overall kind of aesthetic of the saber as well. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it for the outside. Um, super cool hilt. Let me uh, move on into the inside. Um, one challenge that I tackled with this hilt that I haven't really done with any other hilt. I'll go ahead and take the battery out real quick. Is... Um, these buttons, so they're not just positioned vertically within the same um, plane, if you will, but they're kind of offset, right? And they're a along the outer diameter of the hilt. So I took a guess, and as I was designing it in Fusion 360, I figured that these were uh, 45 degrees off from each other, and it happened to be right, um, which obviously makes sense from a design standpoint, right? You'd, you'd pick an easy degree like that for the machining process and all that so it ended up being right and these buttons work pretty good right so I, those um tactile switches under there line up pretty well um i actually took this shroud off and drilled and tapped a retention screw for this chassis so this isn't going anywhere that stays like that and in this crystal chamber here i've got some uh brass rods they don't hold anything inside of them i just put them there as kind of a uh an accent and i have a green crystal in there um saber temple and i decided that this we wanted this to be kind of like a jedi relic saber so i primarily picked a um you know a jedi colored kyber crystal for it um other colors still show up but green shows up really really well and um, I'll demo that here in a second too, but it looks really good. Um, couldn't really get away with hiding the wires completely. Um, there's a really small tolerance between the battery and this board and getting it to stack. Um, so that's why that's exposed there. Um, you got your Profi 2.2 uh, up there. You've got some SD card access. You will need you know some tweezers and stuff. I think I might have managed to get this with my fingers once, but obviously it's a lot easier with um, tweezers. But you also have access to your um, micro USB. I think I was able to use um, a 90 degree cable like this one. Mine happens to be just enough room to fit in there. But um, you can also use one of those vertical 90s. Um, that will probably fit even better. But um, yeah, and there's an accent strip over here. You know, obviously battery compartment here, spring side being the negative. Um, but yeah, and then overall, just, you know, a little bit of greebly work, try to spice it up a little bit. Um, nothing too crazy, but what I really liked about this chassis was this color that I was able to get. 
it's you know a very dark and subtle you know bronzish brown so um i really like how that turned out and then you got a 24 millimeter speaker from the saber bay down here and i actually did seal off any gaps with gasket sealer and it actually improved the sound quality a lot um, i was really happy with that kind of upgrade and modification that i did kind of later down the road and then on top of that i also added these two let's see ret um, not retention screws these two holes down here for sound venting because uh, the speaker sits about right here so it's not super far away which is not uh, typically ideal but with that and the gasket sealer it you know improved the sound quality a lot and got it to a place where um, i was pretty happy with it um, up here, while we're kind of looking out the hill, there's a lot of retention screws that you can use for the blade. There's, uh, was it four? One, two, three, four. So plenty of those and they're good sizes. So you could use one and be good. You could use all four and be good. So, um, that's pretty cool. But other than that, um, for all of these sabers that we have done recently, um, pretty much four in total, I think one has a different kind of font package on it. But they've got fonts from um, Kyberphonic, Blue Mamba, and K Sith. So a lot of cool fonts on here. Um, they range from a wide variety of Star Wars, you know, content that's out there. So um, I'll be demoing that here in a second. So let's put a battery in so I can show some of this accent lighting. You're right about one thing, Captain. We are no Jedi. So spring side being the negative, I put the flat side down. You know, put the spring in first. Uh, there's that crystal. So as you can see in red, you know, it doesn't show up all too well. It does show up a little bit. But if you, let's see if I can remember which one's aux. Nope. <laughs> so if you're looking at the saber like this, this uh, left-hand side, my left-hand side, your right-hand side. Um, actually, no, that's your left-hand side too. <laughs> uh, left-hand side is power. Right-hand is auxiliary. Shinati. Walk. So there we go. There's a green um, blade style for this crystal. And as you can see, it looks really good. And then you got that accent strip going on. I'm actually going to go back a font. Um, Walk. So we'll cover this up. And as you can see, I, I made some of that accent lighting light up that um, little plastic or resin bezel. So that looks pretty cool. It's a nice little thing that makes the saber look like it's alive <laughs> but yeah let me go back to that sabine font sabine Ren. so the blade styles they react to certain things that the saber does blade lock up Here's that blade plug I was talking about. Super cool. I love it. I love looking at it. It's nice and weathered like the rest of the saber too. So super nice. I'm going to go th go ahead and throw this on. Kind of demo some of that sound venting like I was talking about. It's a 24 millimeter speaker, but it sounds pretty good. So we're going to get ready to put the blade in it. But first, what you want to do is back out your retention screws. Select preset. Oops. Balan skull. Let's see one more. Blade plug should be able to just slide right out. Oops. If not, you can just pull it out. It's a little bit of a tight fit, so it doesn't really fall out just with gravity. But, um in there let's see if i can get it to show up there's um there i think they're from cc sabers i believe lip pixel connector a lot of leds on there 
lights up really good. You've also got some shine through, through these little windows right here, which is really cool. A lot of cool little features with this help. Um, I really like it and really enjoy it. So um, I'm going to get this camera positioned to do a, a, a blade demo. Um, and I'll show how to insert that blade as well. All right, so you got your hilt and you got your blade. All you want to do is insert that until you touch those pins. Grab your um, included Allen, Allen wrench. Press down a little bit and then go ahead and tighten those screws. I'm just gonna use two. All right, give it a little test. Flash on flash, blaster deflect. There's a little accent light. And you do have gesture controls, uh, twist on and off and swing on. Looks pretty good in green. I like that. Oops. This has um, FET 263's uh, two button setup on here. Um, so all the normal functions with that and they, those can be found on his uh, website as well. Yeah, so overall, super, you know, sweet saber, sounds pretty good, functions really well. I'm really happy with how the, uh, the buttons turned out in terms of how responsive they are and just how good those feel. Um, chassis is not super crazy, but it's got a little bit of spice to it, so that's pretty good. Um, but yeah, so last thing is just taking out the blade and the battery. Super simple, you know, obviously reverse process. So you want to just loosen these retention screws and back those out. You'll be able to take out your blade, put your blade plug back in. Now that's not going anywhere. And to take the battery out, what I suggest since um, these 3D printed chassis are obviously not the strongest thing in the world, you want to hold it like this and hold part, part of your hand on the hilt and brace the chassis with you know um, the other kind of half of your hand. And as you can see, the, uh, the accent lighting timed out too to kind of save your battery. So just brace the chassis and the hilt Go ahead and come from the top and you want to press down and pull away. And it comes out really easily. So yeah, let's see, let's put that grip back on. So that is um, the Relic Hunter hilt from uh, myself and the uh, Saber Temple. If you're watching this video, um, I'll have you guys know that these hilts are actually for sale. Um, probably the best thing to do would be to either message myself or 
probably the Saber Temple himself. If you need his um, Instagram to direct message him, I, I can obviously um, hook you guys up. But this hilt and a couple of other ones are for sale. So um, feel free to feel free to reach out to us and you know ask us if you're interested. Um, if not, I'm always available for commissions. Um, I've got a few really cool projects coming up. So if you enjoy these, you know, lightsaber videos and like to see cool um, sabers being installed and weathered and everything, you know, feel free to stick around, uh, like and subscribe. That obviously helps. So thank you guys for watching and may the force be with you.